It is day 30 of going through Psalms and Proverbs in 31 days. Uh, this has been a great journey and I look forward to whatever's next. I would encourage you if you have some thoughts on what else you would like to hear read aloud here, put that in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts would be on what book of the Bible you would like me to read next. Would appreciate your feedback. We will be reading the last five chapters of Psalms today, as well as uh, Proverbs 30. We will just read Proverbs 31 tomorrow, and uh, I'll be talking a little bit about the plan for going forward at that time. Allow me to open with a word of prayer this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again that we can come before you, that we can hold your word in our hands, that we can read it for ourselves. We thank you that your spirit lives in each believer and helps us to understand what we're reading. Lord, that you help us to know who you are and who we should be as your disciples. Lord, allow your word to speak clearly through me today. Help me to get out of the way that your name would be glorified. It is in your name that we pray. Amen. And with that, we'll begin with Psalm 146. The God of Compassion. Hallelujah! My soul, praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I live. Do not trust in nobles, in a son of man who cannot save. When his breath leaves him, he returns to the ground. On that day, his plans die. Happy is the one whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever, executing justice for the exploited and giving food to the hungry. The Lord frees prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises up those who are oppressed. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord protects resident aliens and helps the fatherless and the widow but he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Zion, your God, reigns for all generations. Hallelujah. Psalm 146, God restores Jerusalem. Hallelujah. How good it is to sing to our God, for praise is pleasant and lovely. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He gathers Israel's exiled people. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He counts the number of the stars. He gives names to all of them. Our Lord is great, vast in power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord helps the oppressed, but brings the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Play the lyre to our God, who covers the sky with clouds, prepares rain for the earth, and causes grass to grow on the hills. He provides the animals with their food, and the young ravens what they cry for. He is not impressed by the strength of a horse. He does not value the power of a warrior. The Lord values those who fear him, those who put their hope in his faithful love. Exalt the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your city gates and blesses your children within you. He endows your territory with prosperity. He satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends his command throughout the earth his word runs swiftly. He spreads snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He throws his hailstones like crumbs. Who can withstand his cold? He sends his word and melts them. He unleashes his winds and the water flows. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not done this for every nation. They do not know his judgments. Hallelujah. Psalm 148, Creation's Praise of the Lord. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His heavenly armies. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, highest heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded, and they were created. He set them in position forever and ever. He gave an order that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, all sea monsters and ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and cloud, stormy wind that executes his command, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, 
creatures that crawl and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, young men as well as young women, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty covers heaven and earth. He has raised up a horn for his people, resulting in praise to all his faithful ones. To the Israelites, the people close to him, hallelujah. Psalm 149, praise for God's triumph. Hallelujah, sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel celebrate its maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with salvation. Let the faithful celebrate in triumphal glory. Let them shout for joy on their beds. Let the exaltation of God be in their mouths and a double-edged sword in their hands, inflicting vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples, binding their kings with chains and their dignitaries with iron shackles, carrying out the judgment decreed against them. This honor is for all his faithful people. Hallelujah! And finally, Psalm 150, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty expanse. Praise him for his powerful acts. Praise him for his abundant greatness. Praise him with trumpet blast. Praise him with harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and flute. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What a journey through the Psalms this has been. What a reminder to praise the Lord. A reminder of the reasons we should praise the Lord. It's been great, and I hope you'll come back to these videos again and again each month. We turn now to Proverbs 30. These are the words of Agur. The words of Agur, son of Jekah, the pronouncement. The man's oration to Ithiel, to Ithiel and Ukal. I am more stupid than any other person, and I lack human's ability to understand. I have not gained wisdom, and I have no knowledge of the Holy One. Who has gone up to heaven and come down? Who has gathered the wind in his hands? Who has bound up the waters in a cloak? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name, and what is the name of his son, if you know? Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Don't add to his words, or he will rebuke you, and you will be proved a liar. Two things I ask of you. Don't deny them to me before I die. Keep falsehood and deceitful words far from me. Give me neither poverty nor wealth. Feed me with the food I need. Otherwise I might have too much and deny you, saying, Who is the Lord? Or I might have nothing and steal, profaning the name of my God. Don't slander a servant of his master, or he will curse you, and you will become guilty. There is a generation that curses its father and does not bless its mother. There is a generation that is pure in its own eyes, yet is not washed from its filth. There is a generation, how haughty its eyes and pretentious its looks. There is a generation whose teeth are swords, whose fangs are knives, devouring the oppressed from the land and the needy from among mankind. The leech has two daughters. Give! Give! Three things are never satisfied. Four never say enough. Sheol, a childless woman. Earth, which is never satisfied with water. And fire, which never says enough. As for the eye that ridicules a father and despises obedience to a mother, may ravens of the valley pluck it out and young vultures eat it. Three things are too wondrous for me, four I cannot understand. The way of an eagle in the sky, the way of a snake on a rock, the way of a ship at sea, and the way of a man with a young woman. This is the way of an adulteress. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I've done nothing wrong. The earth trembles under three things. It cannot bear up under four. A servant, when he becomes king, a fool when he is stuffed with food, an unloved woman when she marries, and a servant girl when she ousts her queen. 
Four things on earth are small, yet they are extremely wise. Ants are not a strong people, yet they store up their food in the summer. Hyraxes are not a mighty people, yet they make their homes in the cliffs. Locusts have no king, yet all of them march in ranks. A lizard can be caught in your hands, yet it lives in king's palaces. Three things are stately in their stride, four are stately in their walk. A lion which is mightiest among beasts and doesn't retreat before anything, a strutting rooster, a goat, and a king at the head of his army. If you have been foolish by exalting yourself, or if you've been scheming, put your hand over your mouth, for the churning of milk produces butter, and twisting a nose draws blood, and stirring up anger produces strife. Definitely a different style of writing there, isn't it? One of the devices he used over and over there was saying so many things do this, and it's almost as if he thought of one more. It's just a way of emphasizing. Anyway, that is today's reading, and I appreciate you coming along for this journey. If this has been a blessing to you, I encourage you to please like the video, share it with others, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on our YouTube channel, and let other people know that they can come here and hear the Word of God and be encouraged. Allow me to pray as we close. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today again. We thank you that we've been in your word together. We thank you, Lord, that you hear us when we pray, that it matters to you that we spend time with you in your word and in prayer. And so, Lord, we ask that you would draw us near to you, that throughout today, you would make yourself known to us through your word and through our time spent with you. Lord, help us to dwell on your word, to think about you all day long. And Lord, I just ask that you help us to be your servants, your followers, the best disciples we can be today, helping other people know the truth of your love and your grace and your mercy. It is in your name we pray. Amen. May God bless you today.